Hi, Gina here from Peace, Love and Homeschool and today I'm going to be doing a book review. Today's video is a collab with Ingrid over at Mommy and Mia Homeschool Chronicles and April from The Simple Rugged Path. And there are several other collaborators joining in as well. And I will leave the links to Ingrid and April's channels below and I will also include the link to the playlist of everyone who is participating in this collab. Now the rules for this collab is to do a family friendly book. I didn't realize that until after I read the book and was going to do this collab. So the book I picked was House by Frank Peretti and Ted Decker. It is in the horror genre, I believe. To me, it's more like spiritual warfare, spiritual kind of section, more than horror. But this book did, well, let's just jump right in. This book is about a couple whose marriage is on the rocks and they are headed towards a counseling session. Um, they come across a, oh, I can't remember, a police officer's car, I think it's a sheriff's car, some kind of law officer's car and the guy gives them, you know, he gives them a shortcut to take. Well, they take this shortcut, which happens to be this old road where um, they get flat tire and they end up having to get help. They walk back to the, the last place they saw, which happens to be like a bread, bed and breakfast type place. And once they get in there, things are just not, not right. They also find another couple in there as well and they eventually find a family that is there um, really creepy family the book is pretty creepy basically once they're in the house they find themselves in a deadly game um, there is a killer who has a set of rules will not let them out of the house until the game is played game ends at dawn these people end up in the basement downstairs where just weird things happen and they also find that things that have happened in their past come up. The people in this book find themselves battling evil all night long and what's happening is they're trying to get, it seems to me that whoever they're battling is trying to get them to turn on each other. Um, it's, a, it's a book about sin and shame and Basically, if you're a Christian, you'll get the meaning behind everything that's going on. All the horror, the, the sin, the shame, and everything. A lot of the reviews I read were very negative on this, and I think it's because these people are not looking through it, through, you know, looking at this story through spiritual eyes. I have to tell you, this was not my favorite book. The reason I read this book is because my 13-year-old son at the time, he's now 14, wanted to get, you know, he was interested in horror. I didn't understand why because we don't normally watch that kind of stuff. He has a friend who lives down the street who is into, you know, Halloween and all, you know, the, that kind of stuff and scaring and his family took him. I didn't know this was going to happen, but his family took him to this place where they had the kids out there walking around in a creepy area and then they had these guys with chainsaws come out and scare them. So things like that. I, I don't know. He's just been interested in this. And I think it's coming from that family down the street. Um, so I said, if you're going to read a scary book, you're going to read one that I pick for you. Or, you know, from authors that I okay. Which I'm kind of, you know, I'm glad we did go through this experience. Um, since there is such spiritual significance to this book. And it made him really think and it opened up a dialogue between us over all the stuff that had happened and he was getting it and that was really a neat part to see that he was really getting everything in the book. The thing I don't like about the book is I feel like it's too graphic in certain areas. Um, there's a one of the characters is very lustful and that part was just too much I think for a 13 year old. He didn't feel like it really affected him. Um, <clears throat> Maybe it went over his head. I don't know. Um, but he didn't really feel like it affected him too much. But me, as I read the book, I felt like, oh my goodness, I should have read this book sooner and not, you know, let him read it before me, which normally that's our rule, but he was very eager to get started and I let it, I let him go ahead and read it. 
Um, this was definitely a learning experience for both of us, especially me. Um, I'm just not a reader. I used to love reading all the time. Um, I was a mega bookworm. And then something called the internet was invented and I started reading short articles all the time instead of books. And now I just, books don't hold my attention very much. I'm trying very hard to get back into them. That's why I joined this collab. And plus, I really want to make this rule of um, me reading the books before my son of the books that he picks. In the end, I'm glad we went through this experience. I'm glad he read the book. Um, I would not recommend this for every family. I would definitely recommend for parents to read this book beforehand if this is something their child is interested in because ultimately you know your child. Now the ending of this book, it was good. I liked how it ended. Um, another character comes into play throughout the night. Kind of like, I, I don't want to give it away. So <laughs> I'm just going to let you know that it, another character came into play and things ended as well as they could for the type of story it was. I did want to mention that this book did seem kind of laggy in some areas. It just seemed like certain things just went on and on and I had trouble getting through those laggy times. Out of five stars, I'd probably give this book about a three. It's just not my favorite book I've ever read. Um, I am a huge, I must say, I'm a huge Frank Peretti fan. I love this Present Darkness and Piercing the Darkness that he wrote. Very good books on spiritual warfare. Feels like I felt like those books opened my eyes and made me see everyday life through the eyes of what was going on around us that we don't normally see. And that's kind of what was happening here as well, but this was too graphic and a little bit more, uh, more scary. I hope this review has been a help to you. I am not... I've never reviewed books before. This is kind of new for me and I feel, you know, since I didn't read this book this month, I read it a few months back and that's the last book I've read. I'm reading some other books right now on, on audio, some audio books, but I haven't finished them yet, so I didn't want to review them yet. But um, this was the last book I read, so um, my, I feel like my, I feel like it's not that fresh in my mind at the moment. I did kind of try to skim through it and refresh a little bit, but, you know, mommy brain. Anyway, <laughs> I do feel it was an important topic to bring up, you know, to definitely know what your children are reading, read the books beforehand, especially if they're books that they pick out instead of the books that you're picking out for them that you know are safe. And like I said, you know your child, you know what they can handle. Uh, above all, pray about it. Pray about whatever books you want to allow them to read. So if you wouldn't mind, please hit that thumbs up button down below. It would really help us to get to know other homeschoolers. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Peace out! If you missed my last video, no worries. You can check it out right here. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel right here.